The Supreme Court of the United States, the last word on every legal dispute in the country, the guardians of our constitutional rights, is under attack. Many in the Democratic Party have not given up efforts to expand the court. Why? It's all about politics, because currently on the court, there are six justices nominated by Republican presidents and only three nominated by Democratic presidents. And many Democrats just don't think that's fair. So rather than just wait for a justice or two to retire, they would rather change the makeup of the court and add more seats. We undo the damage that the Republicans have done by restoring balance. And we do it by adding four seats to the court to create a 13-member Supreme Court. Balance. That's an interesting word. Because what the Democrats are proposing, as you heard, is to add four seats, all to be chosen by Democratic President Joe Biden tipping the court in their favor, seven justices to six. There's a term for that. It's called court packing. Now, luckily, we have a president who has said on the record he knows how stupid that would be to pack the court. The last president to try to do this was Franklin Delano Roosevelt back in 1936, a very popular president who was frustrated that the court was not to his liking. So he tried to add seats and failed miserably. In 1983, then Senator Joe Biden condemned the idea of court packing at a Senate hearing and he used Roosevelt as an example. President Roosevelt clearly had the right to send to the United States Senate and the United States Congress a proposal to pack the court. It was totally within his right to do that. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. And just last year, during one of the Democratic presidential primary debates, he strongly maintained that position. I would not get into court packing. We we had three justices. Next time around, we lose control. They had three justices. We began to lose any credibility for the court has at all. That's one of the things people have always liked about Joe Biden. His whole career, he has been strong in his convictions. And he was a moderate, swimming in a political sea of extremism. That's who people voted for in 2020. That's not who they ended up getting. After being sworn in, he suddenly became wishy-washy on the subject. In April, instead of making a decision on the issue, he signed an executive order to form a 36-member academic commission to study court packing. President Biden caved to the extreme left of his party and kicked the can down the road. To kick the can down the road means to avoid dealing with a difficult situation or making a hard decision until later. A strong leader doesn't kick the can down the road, especially when he told the American people he was against court packing and wouldn't do it. The commission has just given the White House a draft of its court packing report the final version isn't going to be delivered until November. But even when that final report comes out, the members of the commission say that it will not include a recommendation, just a study of the arguments and the issues. So the members of the commission are kicking the can right back to Biden. When Roosevelt tried to pack the court, he had sky high national approval. Joe Biden's national approval, according to the recent Quinnipiac poll, is down to 38 percent and may still be dropping. If Roosevelt couldn't do it, Biden's certainly not going to be able to do it when even members of his own party, members of the Senate, don't think court packing is a good idea. And most Americans don't think it's a good idea either. A Marist University poll shows that only 31 percent of Americans think adding seats to the Supreme Court is a good idea, 61% of Americans are against it. If President Biden had just shown leadership and stood by his convictions, he could have put this issue to rest months ago. Instead, he let it fester. And now he's facing another possible controversy with the release of this report. Biden ran for president as a strong moderate who was gonna stand up to extremists even in his own party, 
That's who America elected. And that's not who we got. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.